So yes, finally, 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 so of course I'm back with next. Pokemon video, of course, review. So, um, yeah, back to the next Pokemon review. Um, it's been, yeah, I know it's good to talk about your episode. I like I just kind of did that, though. But, yeah, of course, for the next episode, will be right here. Of course, this is a serious ghost boy. Of course, the Gym Leader from Galar. Of course, Ash and, um, Go. Of course, another good episode for them. Basically, it seems like Ash gets to take over my evil spirit. Like, it seems like it's gonna be spirit tune because I kind of already teased it already, very much so. But, um, yeah. Um, yeah, again, like I said, I haven't seen too, too much about it though, so of course I'm gonna just open up a whole tabs and stuff like that, just getting started real quick. Because I got a lot of stuff to do today though, of course though, so um, yeah. Of course, it starts off with Go and Ash and Galar and stuff like that, of course. I'm um, playing on to the train and stuff like that, of course, and we actually see someone actually just drop their, um, of course, was the Galar gym leader in the background. I forgot his name for life, you know, but he accidentally drops his ticket and stuff like that, of course, Ash and Go try to find him and stuff like that, of course. Just chase him down until, um, I think. I see a new train station though, so it seems like it's just a ghost trans jump train train station or like train station right here. So it seems like they just kind of get to stuff like that. Of course, I actually go on the train, find them and stuff like that. Of course, give them a ticket back and stuff like that. Of course, and actually you know, get trapped just to play read it. And, um, you know, that would get trapped with it. Um, you know, go to the next, um, cart and stuff like that. Of course, we'll train, try to find them and stuff like that. Of course, right? they actually see like a spirit turn back right here, though. Of course, Ash actually like really trips over it and stuff like that. Of course, so they, um, him and go really pick it up, but it's too heavy to pick up and stuff like that. Of course, I touched it and stuff like that. Of course, though, so yeah, it seems like his personality kind of gets taken over by spirit tune. So it seems like spirit tune trying to take over his body because it's like right there we see it like there's always really spirit tunes like uh really little you know spirits that way comes out of stuff like that of course though but of course um go i'm um, just like, kind of like hallucinating and stuff like that i kind of see like ash they like this crazy kind of like you know face and stuff like that of course but um yeah but, like it's facing kind of like, back and forth kind of like a creepy other right, though stuff like that. of course pikachu starts to notice up a little bit and of course ash starts to um, kind of go crazy up a little bit though of course but then um because again like as soon as the, light, the lights cut off as soon as they cut back on on ash um I'll go back to normal and stuff like that. Um, so it seems like that happens and stuff like that, of course. And then I was asked to kind of like a little notice a little bit of stuff. So, of course, Ghost turned to freak out and stuff like that because he doesn't know what to do or whatever, though. So, of course, um, Ash just so okay. He's got he doesn't freak out, but he just doesn't know what's happening and stuff like that, of course. Again, like, as soon as the lights cut off, Spirit turns, like, Spirit comes out. It looks like he's just trying to take off for um, Ash's body, though, of course, like, so though. So, um, yeah. Of course, um, we actually see some driven lights that just come out of the blue nowhere, though. So, of course, the lights switch off again. Um, Ash is like, Ash kind of starts to notice now, like, you know, his body. It's kind of like the, um, the episode, like, um, the Arkham Team, where he basically gets taken up from, like, an evil Pukul and his spirit, though. Again, like, that kind of episode, you know, Evil Ash from, um, Evil Flu Ash from the Hoopa movie, and stuff like that, of course, little, little stuff like that. Little hints and stuff like that. Little hints, little details and stuff like that. It seems like, um, you know, Drip is starting to kind of, like, recognize spirit turns inside him, you know, Ash's body turns to come over. And, of course, um, Ash starts to um, kind of notice up a little bit though. He can't like really control his body or whatever though. Spirit Tunes really tried to um, you know tricking and um, you know playing, playing playing pranks on go a little bit though. And of course, um, um, Ash just like you know doesn't know what to do whatever he's still kind of trapped or whatever. And of course, Go starts to notice up a little bit though. So um, yeah, of course he actually sees one of Spirit Tunes kind of like corpse on the outside though. It seems like it's kind of missing though. So it probably like you know Ash strike you know fell or tripped over a fly came out or whatever though. So of course Ash starts to notice though. And of course. Um, I say that um, they actually, um, they of course, I had to go um, stop right here like, for the next mine car train. Look like just a, it's like, like, kind of like a finity train where you go, the next car is like this car, and the, you know, like a gimmick for every car. Like, it's a playground, one's like a snow world, whatever. So it seems like that's gonna happen, like every like every car they go through is gonna change, just stuff like that, though. So, um, yeah. But, um, it seems like, oh, they got a notification on Twitter. I was like, wait, what the heck? But yeah, um, let me see. I'm so, I'm just hot today. I don't know why. Okay, but yeah, um, let me take it. I was um, it was hot today. I don't know why. It's just really hot where I am. I don't know why it was that. Big. But yeah, of course. So um, yeah, of course. You know, I just um, kind of started to kind of to kind of take over spirit tomb and stuff like that. It doesn't seem like he's talking like. Well, he's talking about spirit tomb, but talking like um, acting like Ash a little bit though. So of course, um. Yeah, of course, body so you know, kind of freaking out because you know, darkness and stuff like that, of course. And then, uh, you know, again, like typical Ash, typical ghost stuff, but they just turn to kind of go back and forth. Uh, actually, go trying to get a little bit, with Ash, you know, Pikachu and go trying to get kind of worried and stuff like that, of course. So, but yeah, of course, we see how uh, different ghosts are looking out. like Sableye, we see a uh, ghost of dark type of one. We see like Sableye, we see, um, I think we saw, again, I saw Sableye, I saw Punkaboo, a little bit more Pokemon like that, though, of course. And I start to kind of go through transiting all the Pokemon, of course, they all, um, Ninja's evolution check their ball, that's all though, and of course. I think you just learn to get rid of him and stuff like that, of course, and go, like, oh, Spirit Tomb, like, Ash, trying to, like, 
use girls as shields, but of course Pikachu just kind of flies them all off and stuff like that. Of course, they actually shut the process as well. Kind of send me back and forth the bloody double twin and stuff like that, of course. And of course, we see um, more of them evolve. But I think um, one of the on like Pokemon actually evolves and stuff like that, of course, though. So, um, yeah, his ninja has evolved. So, because I think he already had it before, like now it just evolves and stuff like that. So, um, that's he's really good and stuff like that, of course. Then, um, of course, we see the mysterious boy who opened up the ticket and stuff like that. At least, I don't even know his name, but we see actually a spirit chain um, starting to come near them and stuff like that. Of course, they start to go through trying to explain everything, taking all the different Pokemon and stuff like that, of course. Of course, I see the spirit chain himself will come out, though, so of course, um, Ash, you know, they were trying to find, figure out a way to help out Ash and everything. His spirit chain, he likes trying to take over Ash to his regular girl body. They also, of course, once spirit chain moves, try to go inside Ash more and more and more, take over his body. Of course, Pikachu to defense against it, so that. Um, you know, kind of like Thunder Boy and Sending Ash kind of vibe though. Of course, then, of course, the Ghost Boy starts to explain everything that's going on and stuff like that. Of course, all the drift, you know, the Ghost all Pokemon all coming together and stuff like that. Of course, um, then he actually decides to help him out, but of course, Ghost still kind of mysterious, you know, because he, he seems real bright. So he's like, like, like a purple, I think he's like purple and black though, I think. I can't remember. Because I just he's like with, um, um, Twilight Wings, you know, um, specials from the um, Pokemon Sword and Shield, um, you know, before the, um, he was wasting everything on um, he was like one of the main characters from that. That was like all the Galaxy and leaders and everything, of course, though. So, um, uh, yeah. Of course, the ghost starts to get frustrated and stuff like that, trying to, you know, explain everything. Of course, they say he'll probably, you know, start later and stuff like that. Of course, trying to help him out and everything, of course. But yeah, of course, he goes out with his Pokemon. I forgot the couple Pokemon I completely forgot about it. I know it was Ghost and, um, that was a Ghost app that was sort of helpful as Data, I mean, against, um, Spirit Tomb and stuff like that, of course. Here, he has to face on the purple. Of course, they had to go with the Battle Spirit Tomb, but opposite ones, but because Arctic Pokemon and moves are supposed to play the Ghost type. So, of course, you see Spirit Tomb trying to still take the Brash and stuff like that, of course, but only the Orcs are like, you know, still go, so slowly starting to go with that Ash. They come over, but when it comes out, Ash is um, slowly back to normal, because again, Gargax actually go back and forth to the world and stuff like that, of course. Um, you know, beneath, literally beneath our feet and stuff like that, of course. So now, Gengar actually gets more of the Orcs and stuff like that, of course, grabs it and stuff like that, um, you know, trying to, um, you know, take off Spirit Tomb, because we see, like, one of the Orcs, like, they're still missing from it. So, it starts to shout ball and um, get some cover and stuff like that, of course, Gengar and Absol, um team up and stuff like that, um, Get through, of course, and goes on the team battle come back up as well. Obviously, absolutely, of course, getting broken back in the picture. Obviously, the train's starting to kind of blow up and go on the way. They literally just blow up the whole entire train, though. So, yeah, of course, um, Gengar actually put it back in one spirit tomb, so I have I guess, some um, protection and stuff like that. Of course, it's happy again, gets the Mac. I think when Ash tripped it over, it fell, they tried to pick it back up. Um, the spirit tomb, they take, you know, slowly take over, you know, Ash's body, and stuff like that, because, you know, it's paying back probably for, you know, taking out his and stuff like that. So, um, it seemed like that happened, so, um, yeah, of course, everything starts to go. I'm still going to go back to normal, though, because I expect the normal spirit to be still up. Gengar um, is happy and everything, of course, because, you know, this is a whole, like, a really, like, literally a whole build up for Gengar, of course, um, for the Gigantamax season next episode. That's when we're going to start to go Gigantamax, but does not, like, really, kind of doesn't know, like, what know what to do, so I just, you know, flustered and stuff like that, of course. So, because actually, you know, a trial, of course, to get back, you know, um, you know, um, Gigantamax to Gengar and everything, of course, though. Um, but yeah. Of course, you have different type of ghosts that Pokemon, like Gasly, of course, though. Um, Hunters, of course, before, you know, the, um, evolutions, uh, pre-evolutions for, um, Gengar and stuff like that. And, of course, um, it starts to, uh, yeah, they start to um, pray spirit turn back up and stuff like that, of course. Because, like, this goes to a Pokemon creepy episode and stuff like that, of course. They see wherever the destination is, like that, of course, though. So, um, yeah, uh, of course, you see Gengar, of course, Ghost Boy, and another group of Bubon and stuff like that, of course, you know. She's in Dagon, of course, the Ghost Train actually just disappeared, though, so, um, yeah. Uh, so something like that happens to work, so I don't see how it's actually pretty quick, though. But yeah, I feel like Ghost Strange kind of disappeared and stuff like that, though. So, yeah, you know, not a bad episode. It was pretty decent, but good. Um, you got like the whole ghost type and stuff like that, like Ash's body that he took and go for, which we've seen four by four. It's like the third or uh, fourth time we've been in the Pokemon series, we've seen Ash's body get taken off for, you know. He's in a coma, he's 10 years old forever now, so, you know, typical, you know, ghost theory, or, you know, theory like, um, Fable, like, or the like, Fairy Line. Um, basically, yeah, like, a, you know, Gengar is like the. They go, they die, become Gengar or whatever, though. So, you know, some of the Pokemon creepy over there, like, yeah, some like with Hypno or whatever. Yeah. Pretty short episode, though, like I said. Not a short, but pretty fast review. I, I kind of reviewed it pretty fast. Because the next episode is building up for Gigantamax and Gengar. Really early, though, because I already got Mega Lucario, of course, Pikachu, and Gigantamax in this episode. Um, again. Which was already teasing and everything, of course, because you know, all like good little, kind of like cake little competition they had, you know, actually cooking again. It was kind of funny, of course, probably coming back up as well, though. But yeah, um, again, very, 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 um, simple, really easy episode against Spirit Tunes, but they were actually go basically get on the go. Um, the ticket gets done. Um, they, yeah, the Ghost Boys, I don't know, Ghost Boy, I don't care. Uh, yeah, Dave Phantom, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, you yeah, know, the ticket, of course, Ash and Go try to follow him, give him back his ticket. They get stuck on the um, Ghost Train, I'm gonna call it Ghost Train. They get stuck on it, and, um, 
of course they have to like, go through like all everything like different ghost type Pokemon the environments I guess that's where the you know the habitat where I live um, ghost Pokemon evolves um, it's the absolute, of course, Gengar team up and stuff like that. Of course, like, Gengar is only one who can do this. And again, like, we had, like, Lucario, we had a lot of order for Lucario, we all I mean, Gigantamax, um, Gengar gets these two episodes. Like, he tried to get a gigantic, like, Gash tracks Gigantamax, but it doesn't work, though, because we already know it's Gengar Gigantamax. Uh, we have the keychains that I got confirmed. Pikachu, of course, got, um, Gigantamax again. Of course, I'll match Gengar with Lucario, which will probably be, like, a, maybe, like, another time thing. I don't know. That is the point, probably, next year, honestly, or whatever, though. So, yeah, of course, the next episode is going to still go um, you know, Gengar and everything, of course, though. Again, like I said, a very, very short episode, didn't really need to, like, you know, go for it, so, so, so it's very, very simple, very, very, it's like, every episode has been, them and Pro episodes are actually really good. Again, like, you're getting the RC's episodes next for the RC's Legends, you know, content for that game next year, for, um, you know, because the RC's, the Lake Guardians, Ash and Dawn, of course, and, yeah, again, like, I just, I don't want to see Dawn play next few years, because... It definitely makes sense, I feel like the Dying Pro special should have brought her back the first time, but Palkia, the Dali of Guy, you know, uh, the LA one was not bad though, but it's also like, it was pretty decently okay, but again, you know, like I said, just a little simple that back and forth and stuff like that, though, of course, though, so, uh, yeah, again, very, very simple, very, very easy episode to kind of, like, you know, go around, like, you know, subdosis, subdosis and everything, subdosis and whatever, uh, synopsis, is <laughs> for that little pot and stuff like that, um, though, so, yeah, um, and I'm hot today, I probably don't air, because I, I don't know why, for me, it's just really hot today, I don't know why, I think it's like in the 70s, I think, today, it might be your 60s. What to do? Because I actually felt really good today. I think it's like a little too warm though. Well, about the white man does is flare it up though. But um, yeah. Um, yeah, of course, like they say, um, go, you know, they took off the stone. Of course, Ash gets taken over solely by, um, you know, really cool. Like, you know, Ash is kind of acting like himself, even though Spiritomb um, was still, you know, trying to come over. Um, I guess, like, my stuff and stuff like that. It'll slowly turn him into a ghost, and so it seems like that. And once Orbs goes missing, you can see what goes right there. So when one goes missing, and of course, um, he tries to take over Ash's bias punishment, though, of course, you know, they all work together to basically save the day and everything, save Ash and stuff like that. Very, very good episode. Again, very Halloween. I don't know why. They could either do this for Halloween, honestly. But, um, you know, Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, all the same thing, though. So, yeah. See you guys later, though. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Great. Well, you know, make sure you stay safe, watch this, God bless all of you, it's out, play all our match, and hope it really too! So, the way you guys think about all the things, of course, like you hit, again, very simple, very easy episode, nothing like crazy, 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 like, again, this really doesn't build up to get against Gengar, it does between the Ghost Boy, the Bond, and him and Gengar, Ash and Gengar, but really, the next episode really built, it's a lot better, though, than, you know, after that, the probably battle, you know, Ghost Boy versus Ash, I don't even know what to say about it. So, um, that'll probably be the next episode after, not this next, not the next episode, but the episode after that, Will probably be all that though, so um, yeah. Again, um, yeah, though, again, we're reading really fast, we're gonna work really fast though, so yeah. See you guys later though, with a note. Peace out.